Welcome to Bauga Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Bauga Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 21. Class 21. Let's go! Beginner. All right. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome back. Here we are with class 21. Beginner students, welcome. Bienvenidos. Vamos a empezar como siempre con un repaso de lo que hemos visto ayer en la última clase. Bueno, en la última clase quizás no está ayer, pero bueno, vamos a repasar un poquito lo que hemos visto Uh, estuvimos, estuvimos practicando con colores. We were practicing with the colors. The colors. So let's review the colors. ¿Cómo se dice? Negro. Negro. Black. 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 Eso es. Black. Marrón. Brown. Brown. Blanco. White. Naranja. Orange. R rojo, red, red. You know, it's red. We don't roll the R like that. Red, red. Eso es. Purpula, purple, purple, purple. There you go, purple. I like that word, purple, purple. Conmigo, purple, 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 <laughs> purple. Muy bien. Amarillo. Yellow, yellow, yellow. In my hometown, the school buses are yellow. They are the school, the school buses. Rosa, rosa. In English, pink, pink. It's interesting. You say rosa, and uh, you have the flower rosa, but r roses can be pink, or roses can be white, or roses can be red. Maybe even other colors. I'm I'm not a rose expert, but probably uh, maybe other colors as well. But roses, rose, but rosa is pink. Azul, blue, blue. Yes, my microphone is blue. So is my stapler, mi grapadora. My stapler is blue. I'm I have a stapler in my hand right now. I'm I'm touching it. Estoy tocando. I'm touching my stapler. My stapler is blue. It's not gray. No, it's gris. It's not gray. The stapler, the other stapler that I use sometimes is gray. But this stapler is not gray. This stapler is blue. Es azul. It's blue. Gray. G-R-A-Y or G-R-E-Y. Gray. Gray. Hmm. Sometimes the sky is a little bit gray when it's go when it's about to rain. Cuando está a punto de llover, when it's about to rain or when it's raining, the sky is usually gray. Mm. I don't like it when the sky is gray. Verde, verde, maybe my favorite color, green, green. When I was young, I used to have two favorite colors. My mother said, "Kyle, what's your favorite color?" And I said, "I have two." Purple and orange. <laughs> This is true. I have two, purple and orange. But now, I think I like green more. And I think green represents um, being clean, you know, like uh, nature. You know, like a green field. It's nice, green. So I'm going to say them again in Spanish and we'll translate them to English as quick as you can, okay? Negro, black. En voz alta, en voz alta, eh? Siempre en voz alta conmigo. Marrón, brown, blanco, white, naranja, orange, rojo, red, purpura, purple, amarillo, yellow, rosa, pink, azul, blue. Muy bien. Gris, gray, gray, very good. Verde, green, green. And what's my favorite color? Green. When I was young, what were my favorite colors? Mis colores favoritos de niño, purple and orange. Eso es, ¿verdad? So, um, what color is an orange? Una naranja. 
Well, an orange is orange. Pues claro. An orange is orange. What color is an apple? Hmm. An apple is, well, can it can be red, it can be green, or a mix. Usually red or green. What color is a banana? A banana is yellow. A banana is yellow. A mí me gusta los plátanos, los ba las bananas, cuando están empezando a, a ponerse un poco marrón, un pelín. Así que salen más, un poco más dulce. A mí me gusta así. When they're starting. They're starting to become. When they're starting to get brown. I like my bananas. When they're starting to get to get a little bit brown. Un poquito. A little bit brown. But yes, they should be yellow. I do not like eating green bananas. Bueno, no puedo. I can't do it. Uf, no me gusta el sabor de nada. The ocean. What color is the ocean? El mar. What color is the ocean? No, the ocean is blue. Blue. Blue, un poco blue, un poco verde también, a little bit green. Blue, green, bluish. Bluish, green, we can say. Muy bien. Next, we were practicing with the article. An apple. An apple. And I, I just said an apple is blue, or an apple is red, maybe, an apple, an. So, we have the vowel sound. Not necessarily a vowel, but the vowel sound. So, when the noun we're talking about has a vowel sound, the article is an. When the, vowel, when the noun has a consonant sound, the article is a. A chair, an apple. A cat, an envelope, an egg, un huevo, an egg, an egg, an egg. Aquí en tu guía de alumno hay una, una cosa en, en, en la página de un mensaje de David explicando, dando un, un consejo para practicar con ese artículo an. Y recomiende que, que, que pongáis las, la, las letras juntas, dicen bueno, a neg. Entonces la n se junta con la, la palabra e, que es huevo. Neg. A neg. A neg. En, en, en vez de pensar en an egg, digamos a neg. A neg. A neg. A neg. I would like an egg. Dame un huevo. Give me an egg. Dame un huevo. Give me an egg. Give me an egg, an egg, an egg. An orange. An orange, an orange. Give me an orange. Repeat, conmigo. Give me an orange. Give me an apple. Give me an egg. Give me an orange. Una naranja. Give me an orange. Give me an apple. Give me an egg. Give me a pen. Un bolígrafo. A pen, a pen, a pen. Give me a pen. Give me a pen. Give me a stapler. My stapler. What color is my stapler? It's blue. You know that. It's blue. My stapler is blue. Give me a phone. What color is my phone? Pregúntame. Ask me. What color? Ask me what color my phone is. What color is your phone, Kyle? My phone is black. My phone is black. It's a phone. A phone. It's a stapler. It's an egg. It's an orange. It's a cat. A cat. It's an armchair. Un sillón. An armchair. It's an envelope. Un sobre. An envelope. Okay. Okay. So very important. A versus an. A cat. A dog. A camera. An airport. An elephant. An armchair. Okay. Very good. Let's move on. Word of the day. Yes, it is, it's time for our word of the day. Our word of the day is work. Trabajo. I have to work. The verb, the verb to work. Bueno, trabajar. To work. To work. Trabajo cada día. I work every day. I work every day. 
work. I go to work to do my job. Okay? I go to work. El lugar donde hago mi, mi trabajo es my work. I go to work. I go to work to do my job. También es mi trabajo. Pero hay diferencia. Hay una diferencia ahí. I go to work to do my job. So the job is what I do. And my work can be my location where I do the tasks, the collection of tasks. Las tareas que forman mi trabajo. Okay? My job is to teach English. I work as an English teacher. Trabajo como profesor de inglés. I work as an English teacher. I work as an English teacher. Yes, it's my job. I am working, estoy trabajando, to work, to work. Every day I work, yesterday I worked. Vamos a fijar otro día en la diferencia entre work y job, porque es un pelín complicado por, por ese momento, pero no te preocupes. La idea es de fijar, fijar en la, la pronunciación del wor, de work, con la K fuerte, work, work, work. The verb to work, today I work, yesterday I worked. Very good. Vamos a hablar de rich and poor. Rico y pobre. Ahora con países. Empezamos con países. Is England a rich country or a poor country? It's a rich country. It's a rich country. Yes. Is Niger a rich country or a poor country? Niger. In the center of Africa. Niger. It's it's a poor country. It's not a rich country. It's a poor country. Is Italy a rich country or a poor country? Is Italy a rich country or a poor country? It's a rich country. Yes, Italy is a rich country. Is Bulgaria a rich country or a poor country? Bueno, relatively speaking, it's a poor country. Se puede decir. Se puede decir, eh? I don't want to insult anyone's country here, but compared to most European countries, Bulgaria is a poor country. Is, hmm, is Turkmenistan a rich country or a poor country? It's a poor country. Yes, 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 yes. Is Cambodia, Cambodia a rich country or a poor country? In both Alta, it's a poor country. Is Canada a rich country or a poor country? It's a rich country. Is the United States a rich country or a poor country? The, the, con el artículo, the United States. Sacando la lengua, the, the, the United States. Is the United States a rich country or a poor country? It's a rich country. Fíjate que digamos the United States. También con, con Holanda digamos the Netherlands. The Netherlands is a rich country. The United States is also a rich country. Is Mexico a rich country? Yes, Mexico is a rich country. Is it a poor country? No, it's not. Pero no es tan rico como los Estados Unidos o, o España. Pero no está pobre tampoco. Un poco entre los dos. Okay. Is the king of Spain rich or poor? He's rich. Yes, he has a lot of money. Is Bill Gates rich or poor? Is Bill Gates rich or poor? He's rich. He's very rich. Okay. Ask me. Ask me if Tom Cruise is rich or poor. Is Tom Cruise rich or poor? He's rich. He's very rich. Ask me if Barack Obama is rich or poor. Is Barack Obama rich or poor? He's rich. He's very rich. Yes. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, time for our vocabulary of the day. That's right. Vocabulary of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Brazo. Arm. Arm. Eso es. Brazo. Arm. Banco. Como Santander, BBVA, Banco. Bank. Bank. Tengo que ir al banco. I have to go to the bank. Jefe. Boss. Boss. Niños. Hijos. 
children, children, children. Very good. Muy bien. Aula. Classroom. Classroom. Very good. Muy bien. Classroom. Okay. Ahora algo importante. Vamos a practicar con which and what. Which and what. Y lo importante aquí, the important thing, es saber la diferencia. Bueno, es un poco, es un quizás un pelín difícil a veces saber qué palabra tienes que usar, pero digamos which and what. In the dictionary, if you look for the word which, si buscas la palabra which, pone ahí cuál. And what, qué. Pero no usamos siempre así. No lo usamos siempre así. Which is used for choosing between limited and defined and understood options. Okay? What is used when the options are not clear. They are not understood. So if I say, I can say, for example, what, what kind of cigarette do you smoke? ¿Qué tipo de cigarro fumas? What kind of cigarette do you smoke? What kind of cigarette do you smoke? Because I don't know all the brands of cigarettes in the world. I don't know all the, all, all the kinds. Maybe you smoke Guangdong cigarettes from China. I've never even heard of it. So I say, what? What kind of cigarette do you smoke? What kind of cigarette do you smoke? What, what, what brand? You say, well, I smoke uh, Fortuna. Okay. But now, if we are in a restaurant and I go to the cigarette machine for you, you ask me for a cigarette, I go to the machine or a packet of cigarettes, a pack. I go to the machine and I say, I say to you across the room, they have Lucky Strike, Camel, and Marlboro. Which one would you like? Because I've defined the options. So then we can use the word which. Okay? So now, with the options defined, let's practice with which. Which person is tall? Gasol or Danny DeVito? DeVito is... Uh, sorry, gas, tall. Gasol. Pau Gasol is tall. Which person is short? DeVito is short. Yes. Which person is Spanish? Iker Casillas or Tom Hanks? Iker Casillas is Spanish. That's right. And which one is a famous uh, movie star? Tom Hanks. Which drink do you prefer? Coke or Pepsi? See, I have defined the options. Which drink do you prefer? Coke or Pepsi? I prefer Pepsi. Oh, yes. Which accent is more difficult to understand? British or American? Which accent is more difficult? British or American? I find British more difficult. Okay. Which teacher from Aprende Inglés TV is from Ireland? Richard or Fitz? Fitz is from Ireland. Which teacher is from New York? Alberto or David? Alberto is from New York. Okay. Very good. We're out of time. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. All for now. But please keep listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.